Wow, look at all these awesome games coming in 2022. Oh wait, Starfield, delayed till 2023. What's up guys, Backwards Compatible Dad here, and all I need to say is, uh, Bethesda, you had one job, one job, and you just couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it. You had to wait. You had to delay it. You have to delay Starfield. Yeah, folks, it's happening. We just got the news this morning, Starfield is being delayed till 2023. Hopefully, just the spring of 2023, but we'll see. I hate to see this happen, I, uh, but, you know, in this day and age with, uh, you know, the pandemic and everything, although I don't think that is a factor at this late uh, in the stage of this game development, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, unless numbers go back up and it causes, you know, issues with uh, personnel there at Bethesda, I don't know. I don't really see that as an issue now. I think this delay was probably um, due to just Bethesda wanting to make the best game and wanting to polish everything up so it will be great and everything will be workable at its launch. It sucks, yes I know, I was extremely bummed when I first heard it, but now I'm thinking, well, maybe there is an advantage to this if they delay it a little bit longer to get rid of bugs, to polish up, uh, if, you, if you fly in the game, to polish up their flight uh, pattern, you know, and controls and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, Bethesda, uh, you didn't make it this year, but next time you do a trailer, maybe you want to maybe leave the date off next time because it just doesn't seem to be happening anymore. I mean, we've seen so many delays with, you know, like uh, obviously the latest one was Halo Infinite. I mean, that took forever and it got delayed and delayed and delayed. And this is just pretty much becoming the norm now across the you know the entire industry right now in gaming because uh, any big huge games they just tend to get delayed and uh, I don't know it's just it's something we're going to just have to accept and expect from now on but I just think you know maybe they just want to list a season from now on we're shooting for fall we're shooting for spring of 2020 whatever but until that time you know We've got all our other Bethesda catalog. We can, you know, squirm through. I still need, a, I've got a lot to do in uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I'd still like to get back to my one Skyrim game that I had going on. So there's plenty we can do, plenty. And yes, if we have to, we'll play Skyrim version 26, if that's what they're going to get out next. But we'll see. But yes, indeed, Scott, you know, us. Uh, but yes, of course, Starfield being delayed really, really sucks because everybody was looking forward to this game this fall to really get into it and start playing it. But now we got to wait even longer, and we'll just see uh, how long it will take them from there out. Hopefully nothing else will push it up even further to, let's say, November of 2023. I would hate to see that happen. But as we know, you know, anything's possible after you've seen what happened to Halo Infinite. But let me, let, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is just a quick video, uh, you know, kind of a rant right now. But uh, Bethesda, you had one job. But it's okay if you want to lengthen that job and get it right. Because we as fans, you know, don't really mind that. We're bummed, but we'll get over it. And we look forward to the future. When Starfield is polished and complete. And uh, hopefully that'll be a year from now in the spring. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this video, hit like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. And this has been Backwards Compatible Dad. I will see you next time. Live large or die trying.